The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Alumacraft Classic 165CS and doing a full performance review. The Alumacraft Classic 165 is a side console fishing boat with a length overall of 16 feet 4 inches, a beam of 6 feet 10 inches, and an empty weight of only 895 pounds which means that it's a boat that can be trailered by practically anything. It accommodates an outboard with a 20-inch shaft, in this case, the tried-and-true Evinrude 50 E-Tech. Alumacraft uses riveted construction and double bow plates. The main hull thickness is 1.5 to 2 millimeters thick, and on top of that, Alumacraft adds a second set of 1.5 millimeter thick plates at the bow, where the brunt of any pounding will occur. This translates into a rigid hull that was virtually absent the flexing and oil drumming that we usually see. Our 165 held tight in turns thanks to this design feature and exhibited no jumping off track with each wave we hit. I found that the 165 is very easy to operate. I didn't even need to use the trim until I got to top speed, then bringing it up to about one quarter on the gauge gave me just an additional boost in performance. If I had to change anything in the layout, it would be the console, just moving it about three inches to port or perhaps moving the seat three inches to starboard. It's just a little bit off center and it started to feel it in my back a little bit after a while. Gauges are a basic layout, speedometer, tachometer, fuel, voltage, alarms will be for low oil level and engine overheat. Windscreen does a surprisingly good job of blocking the wind and making it much more comfortable operating the boat. To the right are rocker switches controlling your interior lights, nav and anchor lights, bilge pump and live well aerator. Circuit breakers are just under each one. Engine control, squeeze the trigger to put it into gear. Engine trim on the outside, throttle only on the side. You won't find tilt steering and you won't need it, but it is no feedback steering. Three seats are standard. The 165 is equipped with six pedestal bases, two in the fore and aft elevated decks. To either side of the cockpit are carpeted rod storage compartments. Notice the stainless steel piano hinge and the compartments are lockable. Aft is another storage compartment and a separate compartment for the engine starting battery. Fuel fill is in the port quarter. Our 165 was set up with a Minn Kota 55 PD trolling motor. There are three compartments at the bow. To forward and starboard of the pedestal base are storage compartments. To port is storage for the trolling motor's deep cycle battery. Just behind is a 34 gallon aerated live well. The 50E Tech gave us a top speed of 29.6 miles per hour at 5600 RPM. At that speed we were burning 4.7 gallons per hour and getting 6.36 miles per gallon. This means a range of 114 miles. Pull back to a more economic cruise of 4,000 RPM and we were running at 19.2 miles per hour and burning only 2.1 gallons per hour while getting 9.16 miles per gallon. With a 10% reserve of fuel, that will allow us to travel for 165 miles. As we had a 15 inch prop, our time to plane was 3 seconds and we reached 20 miles per hour in 6.4 seconds. That's our look at the Alumacraft 165CS. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.